To kick off the new year, in today's video, I will be doing a room makeover. The room that I've had for almost 10 years will be left in 2020, so watch me transform my room from this to this. Let's get started. So this is how my room currently looks like. This is what we got going on. This is like my 10, 11 year old brain thinking this is how I wanted my room to be set up. Like I still have a kid picture of me. So we're gonna be getting rid of all this, painting the walls. Like me and my sister used to share this room, but now she has her own room. So I want to just transform this room completely. Goodbye pink walls. I will never see you again. But this is what we're working with. And it's going to be a long time. But it's okay. Yee. Okay, so update. This is what's going on. Am I even focused? Oh well. This, the TV's gone. And I already packed one of my boxes this we're gonna do this wall first and then that wall so we're gonna have to get rid of the bed the side table everything on this side so i'm gonna just pack up the rest of the stuff here so yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now i have to turn this off because copyright this is how the room looks like we already moved all this furniture and we're gonna paint this wall and this wall right now okay Okay guys, so it's day two and pretty much all the walls are painted except there are some areas, areas, area, what? I don't know, that are like, they're still like pink detail. I don't know if you can see it, it's really not, you can't see it, never mind, but pretty much there's some like pink, like there's still hints of pink in this room. So we have to fix that, but pretty much it's all painted. It doesn't even look white. It looks kind of bluish, grayish. I don't know how I feel about it. Like it didn't turn out how I expected it to look like, but it's fine because it's, I don't really want to paint these walls again. I don't know, it kind of looks blue. Oh well, hopefully everything. Looks better once it's decorated and stuff. But yeah, we have to fix the wall a little bit and then build the bookshelf and then everything else. But yeah, this is what we've done so far. So yeah, I'll update you guys once we do the next step. Oh look. Like do you see like the pink? Like there's still hints of pink everywhere in this room, so we have to fix that, all that stuff. Okay. Okay guys, it's the next day and I'm gonna be decorating this bookshelf. I didn't put the shelves in yet because I need to figure out like the height of everything because I don't want it to be all even. I don't think I do. And then I'll start decorating my room a bit. I don't know if I'm gonna put up those pictures right now and my plants right there but yeah, I'm just gonna work on the bookshelf first. 
And there's still like paint <laughs> that needs to be fixed around my room, but my dad will do that either today or tomorrow, I'm not sure. But this is what I'm gonna work on right now. update I need to hang those up here in this corner but I don't know how to do that I don't know how it's gonna work because they came with these what are they called hooks and we literally bought hooks from Walmart so I feel like we should return these because it would be a waste if we don't and I need to hang up my pictures but I want it to be even, so I don't know. And I moved this chair, like earlier you saw it in this corner, but then I moved it to this corner, but then it looks weird in this corner. But this looks super cute here. I don't know, and this is my shelf so far. I don't have a lot of Harry Potter stuff, so that's why it's kind of empty, but once I start collecting all that stuff, then it will come together really well so it's just empty right now um what else did i do i added this picture frame we still have to install the shelves over there so right now it still looks kind of empty i'm gonna put my bed tomorrow because i need to still do the laundry for all the sheets and stuff but yeah it's just a mess and i'm trying to fix everything okay so i pretty much have these flowers that I'm going to put in the space that I got from Urban Outfitter and it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be like this is my hand my hand isn't even that big and my hand is bigger than that and this is like super long so this is from Shein and I'm just gonna like pick a few flowers and like put it in here and put it on the hanging shelf sorry I mean, it's not like oil diffuser. Anyways, this is how it looks like. So I'm just gonna pick a few branches, branches, <laughs> and place it in here. So we'll figure that out right now. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna have to bend it until it breaks. There you go. Ta da! Let's see how it looks. Oh my gosh. This is so cute, what the heck. I'm just gonna... It's a little dusty, I don't know what the heck happened to it. Okay, and that's what it's just gonna look like on my thing. And I have a bunch of flowers now. It's actually super cute. I'm just wearing a hat. It's a little dirty, I'm not gonna put it in my hair, but yeah. <laughs>
So this is my final reveal. This is like an overview. We're gonna start over here. I have my side table, which is from Ikea. Lamp is from Target. I actually had this pink ribbon over here, but I took it out because it didn't really match my theme. I was too lazy to buy a new lamp, and I really like this lamp, so. Water bottle, picture frame is from the dollar store. This remote is to control my fairy lights that I put up. I don't know how I feel about it, but this is how it looks like when it's off. But like when it's on, it like gives a little bit, a little spark. <laughs> so this is my bed. I have a double size, which is way too big for me, but it's okay. Uh, comforter. It's wrinkly, ignore that. Comforter is from Ikea. Uh, pillowcase is also from Ikea. So are these two brown pillowcases. Um, this is from Shein, and the pillow inserts are all from Ikea. And then I have these posters that I actually printed. I <laughs> save money. But the frames are from Ikea, and if you want, I could try to link how I did this, but you just go on like Canva and like type in whatever you want, but it just says these cute little things. But yes, okay, we're gonna move on. Um, over here, this little reading nook, I have this basket from Ikea. <laughs> Blanket, I'm not sure where it's from. I think it's from Winners. 100%, I'm not 100% sure. Chair is from Structube. Blanket, this like throw blanket is from, where is this from? Simon's, okay. And this is the shelf that me and my dad built. Mostly my dad, to be honest, thanks dad. Um, if you want like a full, well, I plan on putting like a lot of Harry Potter stuff, but clearly I don't have a big collection, but this is what I have for now. I'll go into like detail once. I get more Harry Potter stuff, but those baskets are from JYSK, I don't know how to pronounce it. Hourglass is from Winners, Beauclair, and then just a bunch of books that I have. I'm not a big reader, so I don't have too many. That plant is from Ikea. I made that. Um, there's me and my cousins when we were younger. I, this is just like extra tools, I don't know why that's there. Um, that picture, that printmaking picture is my cousin made and you should definitely check out his art. Um, in the corner I just have like my guitar case, but whatever. Window, I didn't change the curtains. I don't know, I just like how it gives me privacy and then I could still bring in some light. Then I have this poof. This is from JYSK and then my guitar ukulele thing. I've had that since like two years ago maybe. My hanging shelves are from Kitchen Stuff Plus. This, what is this called? Vase is from Urban Outfitters. The flowers are from Shein. Picture frame, which has no pictures, but I plan on putting my grandpa and my, my grandparents from my dad's side here. I have more books. These two plants are from Ikea. Over here, I have this desk, which is from Ikea. You guessed it. This chair is also from Ikea, and that garbage can is from Ikea. I have a diffuser. I also printed that picture, and I had that frame since forever. I have my Mac, and then I think that pen holder is from the dollar store. And then I have my table, coffee table book, Chanel, and then Audrey Hepburn, How to Be Lovely. I have an empty Chanel bottle, and then I have this like pillow mess, which I've had since like my 18th birthday, so it was like a giveaway thing. Then this is like my favorite part, these hanging plants. The plant holder itself is from Amazon, and I'll try to link everything I can in the description box, but I don't remember the prices of anything, so. The plants are from Ikea, and so is the box. My fairy lights are also from Amazon, if you're wondering. Okay, last, we have 
Oh, by the way, I didn't go through what's in these boxes, but I pretty much have my all my makeup in here, school stuff, and then more like random stuff there. Then this dresser is from Ikea, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, Eiffel Tower is from Paris. They like sell it in the streets like everywhere. These flowers are the same from Shein. I just pick fluff like a bit of it. I don't know where this is from. This is my perfume, it's Dior. I have random stuff in there. Random stuff in here, my brush. A picture of my cousin and my sister. A picture of me and my sister. This cute area. Plant is from Ikea. This is from HomeSense. And then I just put random pieces of jewelry there. I have like hair stuff, hair and earrings. And then I just have like tops there, pajamas, pajama bottoms, and like sweatpants. This is my closet. I just put a baguette bag just to add a little oomph to my room. But we're not gonna look into my closet because it's kind of messy, but that's okay. So yeah, this was my room now. Last overview of it. It's very simple and minimalistic, which was, a, which was what I was going for. And I like that touch of boho feel to it. But it's not normal, my room is not uh, normally this clean. I literally just cleaned it five minutes ago just to film this video, but anyways. If you guys enjoyed um, watching me make over this room and thanks to my parents for helping me and my sister. I, but yeah, thanks for watching.